day. I suppose for me, um, I've found this tool really affirming of all the great stuff that we're doing in our system. I suppose if there was one thing that was a wow factor for me, and that's been working with Michael Fullen and being reminded um, that we as leaders and teachers in our system have got a real responsibility to create for our children deep learning environments. But I've had a firm for me that I am a constant learner and I've been thrilled to learn with colleagues and our learning has been based around the benefits of collaboration. So I feel challenged and supported by our system to head back and really embrace collegiality and collaboration. My key takeaway is that the Western Australian Catholic education system is doing really well and I'm going to take home the fact that I can put down the ducky. Um, I think my Canadian PRL experience has afforded me the opportunity to um, look out in order to look in and uh, this has been a time for affirmation really for me in regards to my staff's commitment um, to know the learner and they gather this knowledge through um, evidence informed discussions and also student focused assessments which has been one of the key messages while we've been here. I've also learnt that the challenge for our CWA schools is to learn more from one another in regards to good practice. Networks with purpose and learner autonomy uh, is an opportunity for our system to go from good to great. And in the words of my colleague, Kathy Bauer, feed the eager and the hunger will grow. My key learning from the Canada study tour is that CIWA is incredibly strong. <clears throat> We've come to a country that's renowned for being the top of the table almost. And what we've found is that CIWA schools are incredibly strong. They're well financed. In terms of capital development, our schools are second to none. Incredible pedagogical practices across our schools and very strong leadership. Incredible pedagogical practices across our schools and very strong leadership. So the tour has been affirming from that point of view. Probably my greatest key learning is a connection between schools and systems here in Canada. And we found that there's work to be done in CWA in terms of building that collaborative network and that connection between system and schools. In the last day of the whole tour, um, I was walking back from the Lynn Sharrock second day and it occurred to me that it doesn't matter what process you use. I've come to uh, Canada and uh, wondered what made them such a, a great uh, country for achievement. And in each province I've gone to, it's been different. And then I thought, each of those schools and each of those systems, they had teachers involved in the decision making and therefore they had teacher efficacy, which means that they were all on the same page. So that made it the teachers buy-in and the teachers had input in that situation. And it kind of comes back to what Hattie says and he says that's the number one thing for teacher ach uh, student achievement is when you've got all the teachers on, the, on board. There were many key learnings, but the most significant one for me was the close relationship that the superintendents had with the principals. Uh, the comment was made that uh, the principal knows the superintendent and the superintendent knows the principal. And this relationship enables then uh, the opportunity for principal growth and also growth for the college. And that's something that I really like. Look, I think my key learning is that we've got a fantastic system here. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap between the system and principals at the school face. If we can reduce that gap, we're going to be a super high performing system. And if we get better at supporting principals, we're only going to enhance the system more. I've learnt a lot from this study tour. One of the main things was uh, a reaffirmation for me that collaborative leading is my preferred style. And I'm looking forward to um, encouraging the staff to work collaboratively and develop a collaborative culture. One key learning for me, to bring it back to the kids, is how much uh, the Canadian system here focus on Indigenous issues and creativity. Uh, and a key moment of our learning for me is we've got this amazing Australian curriculum that has general capabilities, so I can't wait to get and explore that. So my key learning, or my walkout with um, ideas that I've had from the study tour, is really a bit of an affirmation around the work we're doing in Aboriginal education at Catholic Ed. I think we're heading in the right direction. Um, I need to upskill my space, uh, in my leadership space around change management so I can best enable that to happen. Wow, what an amazing adventure I've been on in my leadership development. But what I wanted to sort of, what I've learnt most about, reiterated, affirmed for myself in my learnings, 
is the fact that we need community of learners. I'm really excited to get back to school and remember to get student voice and also to remember that we have networks of people that we need to speak to and have uh, connections with in order for our community to develop. For me the most amazing thing that I've experienced on this tour is the networking that's been established and it's networking across our state with all of us but of course the networking internationally as well and with that is the realisation and the ability to work with people that our system has been working with for many years and putting all those things together contextually within our system and realising that in Catholic schools in Western Australia we're doing a pretty good job. Well I was quite surprised that VET and career development are not taught in the schools. Of, uh, many key learnings for me was the uh, degree of collaboration not only between schools but between systems in all of the provinces that we visited. I mean um, people like Fulham have been uh, saying for many years now that uh, competitiveness is one of the biggest non-drivers in school improvement. The just how learning is becoming, uh, or the learner is becoming so disengaged these days, particularly as they move up through the school, and that it's vitally important that we find ways to engage the learners in what's happening in the school, and also make learning far more uh, inspiring for them. Uh, he uh, the visible authenticity and Catholic witness of staff in our Catholic schools here, particularly today at St Catherine Siena, I thought that was marvellous. The face of Jesus on our staff there, that was fantastic. And the spiral of inquiry, the growth mindset was really important to me at this particular time in my journey and uh, that's something I'll be looking at as we move forward. My key learning came about when we worked with Ken Leafwood and he unpacked his um, four pass model. Uh, for me it was just a, a great insight about how as a leader I can have an indirect input uh, input on student learning by working in different domains and what really tied in uh, for me was the emotional zone sort of um, I was able to draw comparisons with what um, Kaiser and Halbert were talking about with uh, making sure that every child's connected and um, with the work of Sharrod around case conferences so I think it, it, it just came back to that whole notion of relationships and making sure that a child feels connected to their school and what an impact that can have um, on learning. Three provinces that we've had the pleasure of visiting, to me it's all about the relational trust that exists from system through school through to home, all set around a defined set of guiding principles that recognise the Catholic identity uh, that's integral to the learning program that takes place. Uh, the Canada tour spoke relentlessly about being system driven uh, by what is uh, best for children. A total focus on what works best for children in Canada is what my main takeaway was. It's deeper. I think we need to, as a system, review in a sense what we believe learning is and we need to be focused on how we can support our children to be lifelong learners and to, from birth, to actually take on um, important learnings that give them real life grounding that actually help them to live in their world, to be team players. What I've learned is that uh, Sue was right up there too. It was that uh, you can have a professional learning through an individual focus with teachers and that you actually go on the journey with them. So you learn with the teachers because as a principal I don't have to know everything and I can't know everything. And for me that was just like a, a breakthrough moment. It was just wonderful. I, I thought it was great. A couple of things on this tour. I, uh, I really appreciated Ken Leithwood fleshing out the how school leaders influence student achievement. It's critical for us. Um, but I also really appreciated Michael Fullan submerging us into his deep learning. And, and the ultimate result of, of deep learning is that it's good for humanity but really significant on this study tour was the fact that we do very well in Western Australia Catholic education. I suppose one of the uh, highlights in key learnings for this tour for me has been in our visitations to the various schools. What uh, really was inspiring to me was the connection between the system through to, down to the superintendents, the principals and then the students and teachers uh, for me it was a highlight because it just showed me 
how the knowledge of the school that uh, that uh, we visited to was um, well known and well versed amongst all of the stakeholders and I think that that's very important because you could actually see that permeating through the passion of the teachers, the passion of the uh, district officers and then that filtered through to the children. I think that's very, very important. So it was a real highlight for me. My key learning was summed up by Michael Fullen uh, in his phrase that 2018 is the year to change things, that the old ways no longer cut it, but he tied together everything that we had listened to, everything that we had seen. Um, his six C's in your blog have um, are the skills that we need to be going through. So my challenge now is to get my leadership team and myself to work with our teachers and with our students and to carry that message forward so that together we are learning beside each other and we are then creating a community of 21st century learners. Share with us, really looking at the dignity of the individual and looking at giving each student a sense of dignity, a sense of purpose and a sense of options as well. As I thought that my wow moment was when we came to listen to Brian Leafwood and then Michael Fulham and then Lynn Sharrett. The culmination of all the things that they talked about are things that we already do in our system. And we have the basis of a very, a very good or if not outstanding system if we get together and network and work together as a system and schools together, not just as a system or a set of schools. Excited. Sexy Deep Learning with Michael Fullen. Where do I go with Simon Shakespeare and Learning Sprints? Why? I ask you, where would I go to next? Leithwood's Four Paths Model of Leadership is where I need to go. I just think that we've got an amazing system um, but I think we could get a little bit better at collaborating with our schools and um, get some better processes for collaboration and um, just getting to know our schools a bit better. Howdy Siwa, I'm here today with Steve Gibbs, uh, one of our fantastic principals and we're going to talk to him about the benefits of professional renewal leave. So, Steve, um, your thoughts on the benefits of this PRL here in Canada? I think it's an opportunity to get away from the busyness of the, the school life, take some time out to reflect, do some in-depth learning, but also take in the beautiful surrounds and the environments that we're, we're in. Fantastic. And can you tell us, has it been a well-run tour? Oh, the tour has just been beautifully organised. I mean, from the ability to work with um, so many quality um, speakers and quality um, educationists, and then also to be able to take part in so many um, exciting cultural activities. Like uh, today, for example, if you look around where we are, Woo! ski resort, Norquay in Banff. We've just done some tube riding down the snow, which was fantastic. Mm -hmm.